heard about this in the press. I've seen a little bit of social media. But tell us about this. This is the earliest this known is, in the world. Yeah, you're right. This is from car number 26. And this is the original bone from that car. Officially, they were not allowed to survive because all 30 prototype cars had to be destroyed. But someone, this one survived and uh, we found it in Austria and we traded a swim wagon in order to get just the bone. And then we got from the Porsche archive all the original pictures. And according to the original pictures, now we're doing the floor pan, we did the seats, and at the moment we are working on the front axle. Right. And in Austria, was it, was it buried in the ground? Was it in a barn? Where was it? No, it looks like, uh, uh, you know, in Gmünd, Porsche had, had his first shops, you know, where he worked. And it looks like Porsche saved this one and put it under other cars and used it in the construction. So that's how it somehow survived. That, so would you say that actually this is going to, would end up your hardest restoration? To this source correct pieces and exactly. build? Yeah. We, because our goal is to make it as correct as possible. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Do the fines get any better? <laughs> Can they get any better? <laughs> Yeah, and uh, then you see there another yep. interesting piece this was found in Russia. This is a... And this is a 38. This is a 1938, yeah, and uh, proto Porsche prototype. This is not a VW. Porsche prototype 1938. It's number six. Uh, the only one in private hand. And it's about 90% original in the meantime. We even found... Uh, an original prototype engine, which is now in the car. Chic. And so this is the only one in a private collection. Yeah. I presume that the, how many are in existence? There are three in existence. There's number three, which is in the Autostadt. Yeah. But which is not so original as this one. And it's a convertible from Adolf Hitler, which is not restored, which is some way down in Wolfsburg and nobody is allowed to do anything. And that VW have that one? VW has that yeah. one, yeah. I keep asking the same question. <laughs> Where did you get it? Okay, this one was in the internet. Somebody was asking in the internet, what kind of car is this? No way. Yeah. This was the, the uh, chief of the VW of Lithuania, because he found this uh, car close to Königsberg. And it looked like this. That's, this? How the, that's how the, this is this car. And you saw this on the internet? And Christian found it on the internet. So was it for sale or was he just asking it, questions? He was just asking questions because he was the chief, you know, of the VW uh, team there. And uh, then he realized, you know, you could, on these straight corners, you could see, okay, this is a prototype. And the rear decklet, again, you could see the prototype. It's different than the other ones. Yeah. And Christian realized, okay, this is a prototype. Then he flew over. And then again, the deal started. Well, and what was the words? What are the magic words? <laughs> <laughs> the, the deal was, you know, we had a complete restored car from Riga, which was found in Riga. So it was a KDF car, 1943. And the deal was, we got this unrestored car, we got another unrestored 43, and we gave the complete restored car and still have to pay some money, but that's how we got the car. And, You've got it. And they put the, put the uh, uh, rest, complete restoration process in the internet, and all the world helped to get parts for this car. For example, the inside mirror is from Denmark. Somebody in Finland said, okay, the running boards I do for free just for this car, because everything is different if yeah. you compare it with a, yeah. with, a, with a KDF car. We keep going from strength to strength, and you can't <laughs> believe the stories behind these cars, and the rarity is unbelievable. And you see, it's completely different. You know, the door handles are different. The seats are different. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, after you restored this, have you ever taken it to a show of any sort? Has it been out of the museum? It had been out of the museum, yes. It had been on Schloss Duc, and one first prize there. On Schloss Duc. But other than that, we haven't taken it out because people say, okay, don't take it out too often because sometimes you're going to be 
selling this car. I said, I, I don't want to sell it. They said, they offer you so much money. <laughs> yeah. Also, I said, okay, I, I better keep it here. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that <laughs> Porsche or VW would yeah, yeah. Everybody, happily everybody, is, <laughs> everybody is interested in this car. You see how close we work together with VW, you know. VW had a repro made of this car. And this is the, the, the thing they used to make the metal, oh, the outer frame. Like and a so mold. They, so they said, okay, you can have the mold if you want to put it on that car. Oh, brilliant. So they help us. That's brilliant. So you've got, you've got a, a very long, strong and good relationship with good VW, relationship with VW and Porsche. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With both. So yeah. we are lucky they're helping us, you know. Yeah. But we give cars to the Porsche collection, you know. This is the the only surviving prototype Kübelwagen 1939. The only surviving. They built only four, and only one survived, and that's it. Prototype Porsche prototype 1939. And this is the oldest prototype Schwimmer. <laughs> <laughs> it's even matching number. Is it? It's matching number, yes. And oh. that's how the Schwimmwagen were built. You know, this is a prototype. Yeah. There are only six surviving ones. That's the oldest one. And this, these are the ones they built for the war times. Yeah, it's just and there you got the oldest Kübelwagen. This is prototype, and that's the oldest Kübelwagen in the world. The oldest car built in Wolfsburg. Really? Number 63. God, this is just uh, endless, <laughs> endless yes. rushes of excitement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is, uh, do you, you must always walk in here and just feel a rush of it's, positive energy it's, it's, and what it's, you've achieved. Exactly, yes. And, you know, you've, you've just, you're stepping back in time in here, but you're preserving history, aren't you? We're trying to, yeah. yeah. And this is a KDF car, but which I trade with a 38. You know, that's the way I looked when I got it. You know, it's a 1943 KDF car. So you, you, you pretty much since 1977 have been constantly restoring cars. Yeah, really. Just all constant. my all my free time. You know, when other guys are celebrating holidays, I'm sitting here and restoring. But I'm relaxing while doing it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you, you enjoy it so much. I'm enjoy, I enjoy it so much, yes. Ah, brilliant. And this is one of the last Kübelwagen built. Interesting thing, it's going on, on railroad tracks, you see? Oh, oh right, it's got these, um, yeah? these inner rims to it's hold it on rims. the track. Perfect, yes. Wow. You're a master of all the history. I can, I can sense that your mind's ticking, but you've got all this information logged in like yeah. one big library. I mean, you haven't missed any detail of any car. And it's just because you've been so passionately attached to every car that's come through your collection. If you, you do a, a restoration with a car like this, which is history, you have to do it right. Yeah. So you have to do a lot of research first, prior you start. Yeah. And that's what we are doing, you know. Look at this car. This is one of the few cars built out of the trash when the British took over the Wolfsburg factory. Right. This, this is 1945. After the bombings, After when the they bombing. reopened. Yeah, yeah. This is 1945, you know, they, they didn't have headlights. But they used the headlights out of the, KD, of, out of the Kübelwagen. You see? They put the Kübelwagen headlights in. So this was one of the first built by the British Bit, Army. One of the first built by the British Army, you know. They didn't have upholstery mat material. So what did they use? They used the top of the Kübelwagen. These are the original surviving, ah. only original surviving seats. The front, the rear, we couldn't uh, redo. So this is another piece of history. Oh, this is, yeah, immense. Yeah, for the British, another car for the British here. How did you source these two? Yeah, they both uh, survived in East Germany. Okay. You know, this was just hanging on a wall, you know, without any technique, and no fenders, and no, no, no front axle. But it was just hanging there, but Christian in the junkyard looked at the piece and said, okay, this is one of the first built for the British and now it's nearly back to original. And you see this is a high raised one with the Kübelwagen chassis and yep. this is a lower one. Gotcha. No? And you, again, you can see this is a complete unrestored rear deck lid. This car was first 
used by the British, the number is below, and then the U U.S. Army took over and just sprayed over the British U.S. Army. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. This history. Yeah, absolutely. Most of the cars are not normal VWs, you know? No. Always yeah. something special, you know? Yeah, there's just um, so many different characteristics, different stories, and the yeah. history profiles are just, it's just such an amazing... Yeah, and we're trying, you know, we said, okay, not the amount of the cars, but the quality of the cars. Yeah. And that's why we are the most exclusive, have the most exclusive collection, you know? Yeah, which has just been stated in the latest... VW. VW. So VW sure, have yeah. just stated that your collection yeah. is the world's best. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is a uh, car, you know, we bought in an auction in Switzerland. This is a Tucher. They only built 10 cars, three survived. And this is where they took the This is just, you know, you just flip over the top. The reason they built this one it was just for parades for the officers. And the British officers, they had long heads. But they didn't fit in the VW. So they took so it up. So. <laughs> <laughs> is there any, I mean, is there any cars that you would like to get into the collection? Is there any cars that are out there that you're trying to get? There are still some. Still but some. I, but I don't want to tell you because if I tell you, Christian is yeah. <laughs> all night <laughs> in the internet. But it's that you're still actively <laughs> still trying active, to bring yeah. cars into the This place. is the, what the oldest VW in Cyprus. You know, Christian was on vacation and he bought his car in Cyprus. So he never switches off. You see, off. it's right, right hand drive. Yeah. yeah. He never switches off from no. looking, trying to purchase. Yeah. And that's the oldest head mirror in the world. Yeah, I think I see. Did you bring this one over to the UK? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is yeah. the oldest, the hip mirror number five, the first one sold. Still hand built. Yeah. You, if you see on the uh, air vents, you see they are not straight. Yeah. Because they're still hand built. So the adapted is hand built. And this is number five. It's a beautiful car. Yeah. I remember, I think you brought, brought it to the Volkswagen last year. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You had it on the Volkswagen. Yeah. yeah. This is a nice feature you've made here. <laughs> making a petrol station. Yeah, yeah we try to keep uh, it. So, so it should be a living place, you know. If you just put car by car yeah. by car, it gets boring by the time. You know? yes. so, yeah. so now uh, we're trying to make some scenes. And, and if you're interested in VW history, it's a complete history. All in it, here. Starts, it starts here. This is the original from 1938. Five marks you have to save in order to drive a KDF. So that was uh, the saying. That was and the first advert. That's the first, ad the first and then, ever advert. And then everything is in here. Then it, they had saving boxes. They're all original one. They had saving boxes. And you put your pennies in the saving boxes. And then you see there's a door, a little door. It yep. opens. And then you take the five marks and buy a stamp. Here you see the stamp. Yeah. And you put the stamp in a card. You see here above the card. And if you got three cards full with stamp, you had your VW, your KDF car. Really? So they sold 370,000 cars, but they what, never we? delivered one car. <laughs> <laughs> really? They built Kübelwagen, Schwimmwagen, a, pa a little uh, VWs, which are called KDF cars. But n none of the customer got his car. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the beginning, you know. Yep. The chief of the government was Dr. Robert Lai, and the car number six is his car. And he was in charge you know, for the complete marketing. And you see here, with a, with a KDF car through Great Germany, you know. So he created the marketing to create marketing. a savings plan he to create, get himself a car. He created a savings plan, he cre created here the complete uh, marketing stuff, you know, KDF car and everything, so people or here you see when you visited the city, the city by the, by the time was not Wolfsburg, was KDF Stadt. So here you see KDF Stadt, greetings from the KDF Stadt. But after the war it was Wolfsburg. Yeah. And that's, you, that's a complete history. Are you still finding bits like this? Yeah, we're still, we're still looking. You're still, we're still looking, looking yeah. because it's very rare, you know, the saving boxes, you know, very expensive. And if you're lucky, if you find them, you know. Yeah.